Hey, Pepperdine. Today in math, we will add a pair of two digit numbers when the ones digits, oh, where's my pointer? Hmm. All right, today we will add a pair of two digit numbers when the ones digits have a sum greater than 10. Sounds a little confusing, but really it just means we're gonna add double digit numbers today. And the more we add, the more we grow, the farther our brain grows. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a warm up we have not done before. You don't need a pencil, you don't need paper. All you need is your brain and your fingers. It says, take one out. Go ahead and read that to yourself. Hmm, what do you think take one out could mean? I have a number bond right here. I've got a king in here, the number six. What could that mean? If you said it means I'm going to say six and I'm going to take one out, you are correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a number. I'm going to say take one out. So your answer would say, when I snap my fingers, you would say the answer five and one. Because we know five and one more makes six. So let's just go backwards one more time. If I say six, when I snap my fingers, you're going to say five and one because if you take one out of six you get five and one let's try another one 16 wait until i snap my fingers take one out if you said 16 when you take one out it's 15 and one you are correct because if you take one away from 16 you have 15. just like when we took one away from six we had five and one okay Let's try it again. This time, I'm not going to put a number on the screen for you. Instead, I'm going to tell you a number and I want you to try it. Let's try it again. Take one out of seven. Six and one make seven, nice. Take one out of eight. Seven and one make eight, nice job. Take one out of 10. Nine and one make 10, nice job. Take one out of 11. 10 and one make 11, nice. Take one out of ooh, 15. 14 plus one makes 15, nice. Take one out of five. Four plus one makes five, nice. Last one, take one out of three. Two and one make three, nice job. Let's move it up a little bit. And now we're gonna take two out. So before we were taking one out, now we're gonna take two out. So if I say take two out of eight, try it. If you said six and two, nice job, because six and two more make eight. Show me six on your fingers, add two more fingers. The answer is eight, nice job. Let's try another one. 18, take two out. You said 16 and two, you are correct. If I have 18 and I take two out, so if I hold 18 in my brain, or if I show eight on my hand and take two out, I get six or 16. So 16 and two more make 18, or six and two more make eight. Nice job. This time I'm gonna say it and you're just going to answer. You ready? Let's think. Five, take two out. Three and two make five. 15, take two out. 13 plus two more make five. 15, nice job. Mm, eight, take two out. Six and two make eight, nice job. If you notice, we already did that one. Nice little catch. Four, take two out. Two and two make four, nice job. 14, take two out. Twelve and two make fourteen. Nice job. Let's move on. That's a tricky little warm up. We'll do it again. We'll get some more practice in so it starts to get easier. If it was a little tricky today. That's okay. It'll get easier. All right. We're gonna move on to our problem of the day. Let's go ahead and read this together. Good readers, point your fingers up. Point your fingers on the first word. Oop. Point your fingers on the first word. Aaliyah. The word is Aaliyah. Follow along, please. Aaliyah had some crowns in her desk. 
her teacher gave her two more. When she counted all of her crowns, she had 16 crowns. How many crowns did Aaliyah have in her desk at the start? Use a tape diagram to help you solve. All right, go ahead and pause this and read it one more time to yourself. All right, we should have all already paused it and read it again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and underline some important things. The story is all about Aaliyah. So Aaliyah had some crowns. Do we know how many crowns she had at the beginning? No, they just said some. So I'm gonna put a question mark right there. She had some crowns on her desk. Her teacher oh, gave her two more. Her teacher gave her two more. Is she getting more crowns or is she losing crowns? She's getting them, right? So is she adding or subtracting? She's adding, nice job. So her teacher gave her plus two more crowns. When she counted all of her crowns, she had 16. All of her crowns together made 16. So that tells me it all is gonna equal the number 16. How many crowns did Aaliyah have in her desk at the start? So what are we trying to figure out? I'm trying to figure out how many crowns she has all together. No, because we already know she already has 16 crowns all together. Are we trying to figure out how many more her teacher gave her? No, because we already know her teacher gave her two more. What are we trying to figure out? We are trying to figure out how many she had at the beginning. So you can build it using a number sentence. You can use a number bond, if you, that helps you. You can do it in your brain. Or you can use a tape diagram. I'm gonna build a tape diagram because that helps me the most. So I'm going to go ahead and try it and do that. So, I don't know how many she started with, so when I draw it, I'm just gonna put a question mark. But I know that her teacher gave her two more, so when I draw the second part, I'm just gonna write a two on the inside. I'm not so sure how much it all equals, so I'm gonna try and figure it out using my tape diagram. Go ahead and pause the video to find your answer. All right, if you've already found your answer, I'm not gonna tell you the answer to this one, you can send it to me on Class Dojo. Instead, I'm going to move on to the last part of our math today, which is your turn. Today, you are working on lesson 27, page 109 through 112. You can choose one activity after you have finished this. Your three activities to choose from are math book, page 49 through 52, ST math for 20 minutes, if you wanna do class here or Zoom, that's okay too, or your number story. So you're going to do your lesson at the top, the one in red, and you're gonna pick one more activity. Then please submit a video of your math on Class Dojo under the Wednesday Math. If you have any questions or if you need help with anything, please, your parents can call me or text me and we can chat on the phone, or you can send a little message on Class Dojo. Good luck.